to Lidford Gorge. I don't think you can hear a word I'm saying, but this is the kind of content I really want to do. It's a giant waterfall. And I'm having to shout a bit because I really don't think you will hear a word I'm saying. But it's really impressive, but also really hard to get the scale of it on film. I'm using a gimbal for this, which is a thing that holds my camera to make the movements a little bit more smoother and less shaky. I'm trying to get some shots for you, and I'll also do a little bit of the history and so on. Thanks for watching! So for this video, we left Cornwall and went to Devon. Now, I really, really enjoy my time in Cornwall, and I also really like Devon. I think both counties are pretty stunning, uh, but Devon is slightly different from Cornwall, despite being just neighbours, really. Uh, the main way that they're different and probably the biggest cause of difference yes I will do a video on that soon don't worry we'll get there so for today's journey we went to Dartmoor National Park which is, is brilliant due to the way it's just sort of featureless but still stunning it's really odd you'd have to go uh, so just south of a uh, the A30 is Lidford Gorge on Dartmoor. Now this is of course a National Trust place. Uh, I'm a member, I really enjoy it uh, and I'd recommend it to anyone else. Well, it's brilliant, not just for the car parking. Speaking of, the car park is great. We were welcomed nicely. Uh, there's ample parking. And then, weirdly enough, you start in the gift shop. Yeah, most places end there, but here we are. So, if you want to pause this map, please do. You can see a lot of it is actually closed at the moment. That's okay. I guess we'll have to come back and do the castle and reservoir and all the other bits. But we were heading for the White Lady. I don't know why it's called that. It just is. So you don't have to go far in the southwest to see the legacy of the mining. I really don't want to go in any of them. I might have done as a kid just to be nosy, but as someone in their thirties, I'm yeah, I'm good. I can watch. This is cool. I love it when the forestry people do this, make things out of the logs. It's always just that little bit more fun. So I've got some videos coming up. Apologies for the shoddy camera work and audio. But I decided just to let it go. Enjoy.
bonus content. I'm climbing a big hill to see an old church and I'll take some pictures and videos for you. Thanks for still watching. So on the way home we saw a church on top of a giant hill and thought we'd have a look. So we found a little car park just across the road from it. Uh, so again, feel free to pause it here if you want to have a quick quick read. I can't imagine what it was like building a church so high up uh, all those years ago. But, well, they managed it nonetheless. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge walking up the hill. So apologies for this, the camera work and the lighting in there was really hard but it was a lovely, lovely tiny little church inside uh, and I can only imagine what it's like at a wedding or whatever, probably quite fun. After climbing up there all so high, there's only one thing left to do really, walk all the way back down the hill. Thanks for watching, see you soon.